I started collecting video games years ago, and back when I started buying video games, I, I never really called it collecting. It was just buying stuff that I liked. I've always bought toys and statues and video games and consoles and always got the new stuff that was coming out and kind of like hung on to it, sold some stuff, traded some stuff. And I've just been passionate about the whole hobby for as long as I can remember. My first console I ever got when I was growing up was a Super Nintendo and I got that on Christmas morning and then a Sega Genesis and after that was the N64 and the PlayStation 1 and so on and so forth and I just have never really called myself a collector at least growing up or, or even into my early adult years, it was just me buying video games. And it wasn't until I got involved in content creation, like not just like not making it, but like watching other creators, like, you know, over a decade ago, I was watching Metal Jesus and his whole squad and Pat the NES Punk and Happy Console Gamer, Adam Korlick, the OGs in the retro space. Always looked up to them, I've always appreciated their channels, and I learned a lot about video games, a lot about its history, a lot about collecting and buying video games and what games are good and what games are bad and which ones to look out for. And then over the last couple of years, you know, I started making content, whether it was streaming on Twitch or making YouTube videos, TikToks on, you know, making stuff on Instagram and whatever it may be, you know, I started watching a new wave of retro channels that I've learned to fall in love with and absolutely adore their content. And all of these people I have now met in person and we've built relationships and they are super amazing people. But I have to say, I kind of blame them for the channel announcement that I'm about to make. So like I said, being a collector for many years and a lover of video games and all things nerdy and nostalgic, um, you know, my, my favorite consoles of all time are the Super Nintendo and the PlayStation 2. And I've just, they're, don't ask me why, they're just, I'm really nostalgic for those consoles. I think they have some of the greatest libraries in the history of gaming, and I am just absolutely in love with them even to this day. So in the words of my friend Keith, the retro cart collector, the Super Nintendo was my first love, but the PlayStation 2, my true love. I'm so nostalgic for the PlayStation 2. It's one of the greatest video game consoles ever created, and it is the best selling to date. With over 155 million units sold worldwide and a library of over 4,000 games worldwide, it's kind of hard to beat that, considering that it has good games in every genre across the board. And to get back to the YouTubers that are now my friends and people that I've looked up to for years and I've been following their content and their journey on YouTube and, and basically their journey in content creation, I have realized that, you know, something that I never thought I would want to do before was that I kind of think I want to go for a full set. You look at someone like Mort from Mort's Garage, absolutely love Mort, have nothing but respect and love for that guy, and he has an amazing channel. And Mort right now is trying to finish his complete inbox N64 set, and the only thing left that he needs is the Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut manual. He has every other game in the box with the manual. Then you have Gabo, who literally just released his final NES hole video because he completed his NES set. A, a dream of his, and it was a true passion and an amazing journey that I had been following for a while now. You have Dan and Elisa from JRPG Life who are currently going for the full Nintendo 3DS set, and they're like only two games away from completing that set. And that's something that they wanted to do and share together, and I think it's beautiful. And how can we forget Retro Rick? Retro Rick is a legend. I have been watching that guy for years. If it wasn't for Retro Rick and his $10 game collection videos, I would have never found a lot of these new creators that I've fallen in love with their channels. I would have never found them. And Retro Rick, last time I checked, is very close to completing his NES set at the time of filming this video. And he's only got like four games left or so. And that's something he's been pursuing for, for years. And then you have the Pixel Game Squad. Riff and Ricky, who are currently doing their NES Pursuit videos and they are trying to complete their NES collection. My friend Marcus, Video Game Votary, he has an entire Wii and Wii U set. Like literally a wall of Wii games. It is absolutely insane. Look, I know I'm rambling, but you know, at the end of the day, I never thought that I would want 
to collect a full set of anything. Because let's be honest, number one, very expensive. Number two, it's a lot of hard work and dedication and patience. You need a lot of patience and you need to be smart when you're doing this. When you're collecting a full set of anything, it's going to cost you a lot of money and it's gonna take a lot of time. Gabo, it took over two years to collect the entire NES set and there's like around 750 games or so. So the announcement for the channel moving forward, for the first time, I'm gonna go for a full set. And I blame all of you, all of you YouTubers for making me wanna do this. Because I think it's cool, man. I, I think it'll be a really big accomplishment and I'm excited to do it. And I'm, I'm actually curious to see if I can do it. So my goal here on the channel is to collect the complete North American PlayStation 2 set. And you're probably wondering, Rekt, how many games does the North American PlayStation 2 set have? about 1,850 games, give or take. And if I'm being honest, that number sounds absolutely daunting and I, I, I'm just really unsure how this is gonna go. And I'm sure some of you in the comments are gonna be like, yeah, there's no way. And in the back of my head, I'm thinking, yeah, there's no way. But I love the PlayStation 2. I'm so, so nostalgic for it. And I still play that console to this day. And I've been collecting for it for a long time. I mean, those of you who watch the channel know that before this big goal that I have, my first goal was to collect all of the horror games and RPG titles for the PlayStation 2. Plus all of the staples, right? You can't have a PS2 without having games like God of War, Sly Cooper, Jack and Daxter, Grand Theft Auto, Need for Speed Underground. Like there's so many great games and I've already kind of got all those. And the way I'm kind of approaching this is I'm not doing any type of fancy challenge where like I can only get it out in the wild or you know at flea markets and thrift stores and yard sales and stuff like that. I'm going to get this set any way that I can get this set. There's over 1800 games. If I planned on finding them all at the flea market, I'd never find them all, let's be honest. And since I've been collecting for this console for a while now, I've already got a good chunk of the heavy hitters on the console. I mean, I literally have the most expensive, rarest game in the library. So like, to me, this is like, this is like my little Samson right here. I already have it. I have the second most expensive game in the PlayStation 2 library. This is like my Flintstones at Dinosaur Peak. And I have so many other bangers in my collection, you know, my Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut and my Pokemon Box. And you know what I mean? Like these are my grails for the PlayStation 2. And to be honest with you, that's kind of a relief that I've knocked a lot of those out already. I also have the full Silent Hill set. Every Silent Hill game for every console ever made in North America, which means I have Silent Hill 2, 3, 4, Origins, Shattered Memories. So I've knocked out a lot of big heavy hitters. Now there are still some heavy hitters that I need for the collection, like Obscure, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Def Jam Fight for New York, and then there's a lot of mid to, to higher end titles that are between the $50 and $150 range. There are other heavy hitters like Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi 3 or Xenosaga 3, and I would really like to get the one with the lenticular cover, which is stupid expensive and I'm, I'm dreading that day. But let's be honest, with a library of over 1,800 games, there's gonna be a lot of garbage. And I've kind of mentally prepared for that. I'm going to be buying a lot of one to five dollar games, a lot of the shovelware, a lot of the sports titles that I could give two shits about. But that's part of going for a full set. You've all been through it that have collected a full set. You get a lot of garbage, but there's also a lot of gold. Ah, you see what I did there, Morton Josh? Look, I don't want to ramble on too long, but I have to admit, I'm really excited to start collecting for a full set for the very first time. And again, I blame all of you, all of my friends that I have made here on YouTube, because watching your journeys, watching you guys collect for the consoles that you are in love with, the ones that mean the most to you, it truly was inspiring. And I thought to myself, why the hell not? What have I got to lose? And I'm patient. I have all the time in the world. I'm not rushing this. I literally 
plan on this taking years. But at the end of the day, that's good for you guys because that's years of content that I could be making for you guys and you get to watch the whole journey from start to finish. And as of right now, I'm sitting at about 200 PlayStation games. So I got around 1600 to go. I'll do a final count. I'm gonna work on a master list and come up with exactly how many I need and how many I have and I will keep you guys updated on all of my socials, whether it's Instagram, threads, TikTok, here on YouTube, you name it. I will keep you guys updated. I want you guys to be a part of this journey with me and to experience it all with me, and I wanna share it all with you. So I know it's kind of cliche because other channels have done this before, and I couldn't come up with a catchy name because I'm not that fucking creative, but guys, get ready for Wrecked Wizards. PlayStation Pursuit. It's going to be amazing. So excited. So excited. And guys, thank you so much for watching the video and listening to me rant and talk about what I plan on collecting for. Let me know down in the comments. Must have PlayStation 2 games. Give me a list. I want to know them all. And if you guys have any references or where you know I could find a master list of like every PlayStation 2 game made in North America, let me know a, a good place to find that because uh, with over 1800 games, I feel like uh, I don't know if I'm going to find a site that has all of them. I, uh, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments, whatever's the easiest way to figure this out. If you've collected for a full set before, let me know some tips and tricks down in the comments. DM me if you want to hit me up anytime. I, I don't know how to tackle this. If I'm being honest with you, I don't know what the best way to go about this is. But I'm excited for it, man, and I hope you guys are too, and I hope you stick with me through this. And uh, if you like the video, please consider hitting the subscribe button and liking it and help me get to 10,000 subscribers because we're almost there, and I couldn't be more grateful to each and every one of you. Guys, we will talk very soon. Thank you for watching, and happy hunting.